Hello friends, so here we will be discussing the third category or the third way of uh, classifying the signals which is periodic and non-periodic signals. Okay, so let's say we have two signals. Okay, here we have a signal like this, and we have another signal, let's say. Okay, we have another signal like this. Then we have another signal, let us say, Okay, like this and on the other side <coughs> we have signals like like this. Okay, then we have another signal like this. This is another signal. Then we have another signal like this. Okay, we have these signals. So, here if you see in the left hand side uh, the signals that we have, they have a definite pattern and that particular pattern it repeats itself, it keeps on repeating itself at regular intervals of time. Okay, whereas on the right hand side here these uh, signals there is no fixed pattern in them. Now you see that this is also the definition for deterministic and random but in deterministic and random signals deterministics are the one which can be represented with the help of a mathematical signals. Random signals they have no pattern, but they cannot be represented using any mathematical representation. Here, both of them can be represented mathematically, okay? both periodic and non-periodic. They can be represented mathematically, but in periodic signals, there is a fixed pattern which repeats itself after a fixed interval of time like this. Here also same thing. Here also same thing. Okay.
like this. Okay. So, this pattern it repeats itself after a fixed interval of time, let us call it capital T. But here the no such thing happens, no definite pattern exists which repeats itself. So, here this T value capital T after which the duration after which the pattern the fixed pattern keeps on repeating it is called as the time period of the signal <coughs> such that the value of the signal after that fixed time period is equal to this the original value okay this this is the basic expression of a periodic signal or a periodic waveform and the smallest possible value of t that is called as the fundamental time period okay this so here as if you see if you take the example of a sign signal here it is 0 here it is pi here it is 2 pi so it again repeats itself at 2 pi then we have 3 pi then we have 4 pi like that so it will again repeat at 4 pi then it will again repeat at 6 pi 8 pi 10 pi like that pi multiplied with an even integer 2n pi so the smallest possible value here for n is equal to 1 that is 2 pi that is the fundamental time period okay so this is a periodic and non periodic signal basic classification periodic signals they repeat itself after a fixed period of time non periodic signals they have no such fixed pattern which keeps on repeating itself then there are some basic properties of uh, periodic signals which are first the frequency of the signal is the reciprocal of the time period and also the uh, the if we take it to the other side time period is the reciprocal of frequency <clears throat> when we take angular frequency omega equals to 2 pi f then f will be equal to omega by 2 pi and time period will be equal to 2 pi by omega okay for discrete time signals for discrete time signal uh, sequences the expression for periodic sequences x n plus n is equal to x n where n is the time period of the sequence discrete time sequence and here the angular frequency is equal to 2 pi by n okay 2 pi by n or n is equal to 2 pi by omega here omega is 2 pi by t we can also write it in that way okay here t is replaced by n continuous time is replaced with discrete time okay then a periodic signal is an everlasting signal okay periodic signal is an everlasting signal it keeps going on and on and on and on there is no stopping it okay and let us say we have we are uh, we are given the information that this is a periodic signal and we have been asked to predict the future behavior of the signal then what we will do we will simply pick the time period this is the time period okay and we will keep on repeating this pattern for the next time period so now the same width 
okay the width of this time duration will keep it fixed and will keep on repeating the same pattern okay likewise so this is what we call periodic extension of the signal periodic extension of the segment of duration t by which we can generate the periodic signal okay this so in periodic signals suppose we are given the shape of the waveform for any you know time period of that we can reconstruct the signal by repeating that waveform for the future time periods of the same duration and we will reconstruct the original signal this is what is called as periodic extension of the waveform this is possible only because a periodic signal repeats itself after fixed intervals of time t so we are using that property to repeat the shape the pattern after every t duration after every t seconds we reconstruct this the you know the same shape the same waveform the same pattern to generate the original signal okay then another important property of uh, periodic signals is that let us say we have two signals x1 t which is has the time period t1 okay and x2 t which has time period of t2 suppose we sum them together we add them together x1 t plus x2 t <coughs> here this sum of these two signals it can be either periodic or it can be non periodic both are possible both are possible and it all depends on the values of these two time periods t1 and t2 here if the ratio of the two time periods t1 by 2 t2 it is a rational number okay where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 it is a rational number then it is periodic and the combined time period of the sum signal the combined time period of the sum signal is lcm lowest common or least common multiple of t1 and t2 this if t1 by t2 it is not a rational number then it is non periodic okay this so these are some of the important concepts related to periodic and non periodic signals so the basic the gist of this discussion is that periodic signals they repeat itself they repeat themselves you know with a fixed pattern after every fixed duration of time which is called as the time period t the smallest possible time period is called as the fundamental period whereas non periodic signals exhibit no such you know repetition or fixed pattern which it keeps on repeating after certain specific fixed interval of time there is no such thing like that no repetition so this is the basic difference between periodic and non periodic signals okay